So it's been a while. It's been a while since I made my last tier list, but you know, we got a few, we got a lot of good new units and I thought I'm, it's time, it's time to make a new tier list. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to put, I'm going to put them all in eight different tiers. They're all in alphabetical order. So I'm just going to go down the list, but we cannot start a tier list without having a baseline. Obviously it's not much to go off of because everyone else is just terrible compared to the God of all-star tower defense. So starting off with ACE, ACE is a, I'm not going to talk about units that are obviously F tier. There's not much to talk about them. They're just garbage compared to the, like the new units. Uh, and some of them you might be surprised, like five star Blackbeard, uh, just cause he, at one point he was like an A tier unit, you know, he was, he wasn't that bad to put, be put in F tier. Uh, but in the recent update, you just compare it to the brand new unit and he is garbage. Like it's, <laughs> it doesn't even come close. Uh, another thing where I think people are going to be upset, I'm, I'm going to put Rukia in F tier. I don't think, I think Rukia is, I mean, her damage could very well be a B tier, honestly. Uh, I forgot her damage though. But uh, she, her freeze just, it, it's worse for you, honestly, if you're time stopping, which you should be. So that's why I'm putting Rukia in F tier. Uh, Armin, I'm gonna put S tier. There's no word. There's like nothing to go off of other than Krillin, but like He's a decent unit. He hits for a lot, but he's only like a good decelerate killer Like if you're struggling with decelerates, you can put him all the way at the end and he'll destroy these decelerates He can hit them multiple times because decelerates are really slow at the end uh, Other than that, he's not that great. I mean, he's just like a he, He's like a light Yagami, but a little bit more damage except he can't hit airs so he's kind of worse. Uh, Blackbeard six star is a must have, obviously. Broly Broly last update would have been S plus for sure, but in the most recent update, I'll explain why later on. But his damage does not keep up to like the new year units that we just had in this update. So I'm just gonna put Broly six uh, S tier, just because his damage really doesn't keep up. Like it's half of what the new units do, kind of. Like, and his AoE, it's good, full AoE is good, but with Blackbeard and Time Stops, they're going to be grouped up, with, especially for Meta Knight, so the new Circle AoE is definitely by far better than uh, full AoE that has such a long SPA. Uh, Balma, for sure, must have, uh, as well as Eskinor, I'm just going to put him there. They're, they're both, uh, it doesn't matter who you use. Uh, Boo, uh, this guy, I'd put him B tier. He hit airs, but that has, it really doesn't matter because airs are really easy with a, a fire rage orb Meta Knight. So I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to look at airs. Uh, there's just so easy to beat. The next air that's, that you can't, you can't even beat it. The next air after 59 is 71 and it's impossible to even get there, uh, other than auto skipping. So... I'm not even gonna. I'm not even think about airs, honestly. Uh, Irwin's a must-have. I don't know. I just skipped half. I I just saw Irwin. I might as well put him in the must-have. Biakia, I believe he was C tier. I have it written down. Everybody, just because I keep forgetting. Yeah, Biakia C tier. Uh, he's better than a lot of the F tier units, but he's just not as. He's not that good anymore. Uh, well, he's he would never was meta, but you know, he's still decent for a big a starter. Uh, just going down the list. I'll put I'll put time stops in C tier, although they're pretty much useless. Doflamingo was he? No, he was C tier. Doflamingo, he's. I guess if you don't have fire rage orb, and you still struggle with the air units, then you use you could use Doflamingo, more for like new new players. Otherwise, he's not that good. He's really not that good. Uh, especially all right. Uh, Doflamingo. I know I put him S tier in my previous tier list, but that's because he was actually really good against air units when air units were a problem. But now the air units are not, are not a problem. He's garbage. Um, Aaron, nothing. Can't wait for six star Aaron. S oh wait, there's somebody I'm missing. Uh, this guy, I think he's like the most confusing out of all units, just because I don't know how exactly how much his his uh his ability does because it, it, it's just all over the place. But um. Apparently, at level 1, without an Erwin buff, he does 
his his ability does four thousand eight hundred damage, with a and he does four thousand damage, uh, with an Irwin buff he does twelve thousand and his ability does fifteen thousand six hundred. So I don't know how that scales. I'm assume since his max is twenty one thousand at max level max upgrade, or max Irwin, I'm assuming his ability is gonna do like twenty six thousand and with that damage, I'm gonna put him a tier. Was he a tier for you? Yeah, a yeah, tier. But uh, he he's not like he maybe like low A tier honestly, cause he's a terrible unit with like range and SBA. They're so bad. The only thing he has going for him is his damage, but the range and SBA is so bad that technically all he has going for him is his ability. So I mean I I wouldn't even bother if you have Meta Knight. Uh, clicking on him and clicking all his abilities. Escanor, I, th I still think is as an S plus unit, but like more like on the lower S plus side. You'll see later on why. Uh, there are better units now, but Escanor is still like an S plus unit for sure. Uh, definitely better than Broly. I'll tell you that much. Just because you don't need to kill air units, and Escanor does more overall. <clears throat> Especially if you position him correctly, you know, you can hit like an entire group. Or at least almost entire, depending how good the time stops are. So definitely by far better. Fujitora C tier, very much like Byakuya. Gilgamesh, I'm gonna put an S tier. Uh, you're really only using Gilgamesh for explosives, but there are better options. Obviously, S tier is like a good tier, but there's always better options because of S plus. So there's that. I think forget this guy. What's his name? Giona, right? Or Giona? I, I don't know how to pronounce that. I actually put him in B tier. I don't know why. I forget his damage, but I put him in B tier. I, I looked at all everybody's stats beforehand, so I forget. I didn't write them down why. I just wrote them on like where I would put them. So B tier, I guess his stats just are not as good as A tier stats. Gogeta was A tier. Uh, reason why is because his damage is... It's very much like Emiya's damage, except it's not manual. So, I would put Gogeta above Emiya. And he hits airs, not that it matters. Gohan, a new unit, just came out last update. Uh, I think I put this, yeah, hold up. So, S tier. Uh, I think he had like 18,000 damage with a decent SPA of like 4 point something. Uh, and then 60 range, which is very good. Um, he's like a weaker Escanor, basically, uh, if you think about it. Uh, Gojo is a must-have. Goku Rose is... Where did I put this guy? B tier. Whoa. Uh, yeah, very much like Golden Frieza. And then we're going to go down to these guys. Hold on, I'm just trying to clear out as much space as possible by getting rid of all these. Uh, which one's five star? I think I think the yeah because I put it has ground so that has to be the five star. Where's Megaman? Megaman is F tier. All right. Just getting rid of all this space. I'm not explaining why these guys are F tier. It's very obvious. Um, it's very obvious why these guys are F tier. Is Sanami? I guess I put Sanami. I don't know why I put Sanami in F tier and Sasuke. Oh, yeah, they're worse than Biakin. Oh, never mind. That makes sense. There you go. I cleared up most space by putting all the F tier units there. I'm not explaining why they're F tier because it's very obvious. It's self explanatory. Uh, Rukia, I think I had the most explained to do. The, the freeze just does not. It, it, it interferes with the time stops. Uh, and then who else? Nami, you don't need money, especially with the cost. Well, the cost orb is not going to make a difference, but especially with Escanor. Um, uh, bleed units, there's there's Maka, so if you're using Nezuko. Uh, and Nezuko isn't even that good anymore. Just, I'd put her in C tier. Uh, so, where did I put Maka? Okay, actually, I just realized I forgot to actually put... I forgot to rank Maka, but I'm not going to bother. The only You're only going to use Maka if you're using Nezuko. Um, so, 
there's that. And I'm pretty sure, I may be wrong though, I'm pretty sure Maka does more than Ezuko, so it's an interesting combo. Go and C tier just because, I, I mean, you could, his, his range is so bad. His SPA is six seconds. It's with that range, it's so bad, and he's Kone AoE, and his damage isn't even that good anymore. I mean, compared to the new units, fifteen thousand damage is not that great anymore. Ichigo, he's still okay, um, but he's not. He's not like better than a lot of the new units. He also doesn't hit airs, so I'm just gonna. Not that it matters, but like. Uh, that's something, I guess. Um, light A tier does about the same damage as uh, Armin, a little bit less, but like also hits airs. Uh, wait, no, 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 my bad. I I meant to put him S tier. I <laughs> wouldn't make sense. Uh, does about the same damage as Armin and hits airs as well. Yeah, as soon as I said it, I was like, wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. Why did it put him in A tier? Um, Magellan, A tier. I, his damage is so low, but he has poison, so there's that. Rengoku, I think, is overhyped. I'm going all over the place, by the way. I'm just seeing whatever catches my eyes. Uh, Rengoku is overhyped, but I'm, I'm, I'm still going to put him in S tier, just because I know people would be mad at me if I put him in A tier. And I don't think he's A tier, but I think he's too weak for S tier, and I think he's too strong for A tier. I should be putting like another tier in between, but I don't want to because I don't want to rank a new. Everybody here is garbage in F tier. I don't want to rank someone higher than that. Uh, and see, uh, it's it's fine. Doesn't matter. I'll just put him low S tier. I don't think Rengoku is that good because um, Burn is not that strong, and his damage is he has like six seconds, so his damage isn't that good. Compared to other units, uh, yeah, I put him in S tier. Now, you what you could do, and it might be a little bit harder, but you could actually spread out Irwin's, uh, and Irwin chain around the map, so you can get a burn throughout the entire map. Uh, although the burn isn't doing that much, so it may not even make a difference. Although, if you're gonna use Mangoku, maybe do that. Uh, solid S tier unit, in my opinion. Jotaro, wait, I well, forgot to put this guy there. Jotaro is 6 star, uh, I'm going to put an S tier just because it's either high S or low S plus, but I think Jotaro, if you're struggling with air units, then you can use Jotaro as an easy solution to group them up, uh, but I don't think you should be struggling with air units. However, Jotaro, you know, he's an, he's another time stopper that actually does damage, so if you need like an extra time stopper that doesn't have the main priority of time stopping, and you you can use Jotaro and get damage off doing that. So, uh, Jotaro is always an option. White beat six stars B tier. Uh, decent. Usopp, same as. I'm just gonna put him B. I don't really want to talk about these guys just because they're obviously uh, where they belong. It's pretty self-explanatory. I forgot to put Luffy in S tier. I was, uh, yeah, I saw Luffy and I was like, okay, that's six star Luffy. I'm just going to save that for later on, but that was five star Luffy. Mihawk, where did I put Mihawk? I actually forget. Oh, I put Mihawk in A tier. I guess that makes sense. Roy, I. Oh my god, what just happened? Where did I put Roy? I lost Roy. Here's Roy. Roy, I'm putting in B tier. Uh, and like a low B tier, just because Roy is, t is not that good anymore. Roy was only used to kill air units, and with air units not being a problem, I think Roy just gets a lot worse, just like Doflamingo, except he has a, he has AoE, so at least he's doing something, I guess, not really, but I, I, I'm going to put him B, low B tier. I don't think people should, I think people should stop using Roy if they can kill air units. Um, even if they can't kill air units, there's just better options. I think people should just stop using Roy. He's not that good. Uh, Meta Knight is a must have. Minato, A tier. Uh, do I have to say? I mean, he has uh, alright damage. Alright, I guess. Nothing great. 
I forgot to place Kaido and F tier. All right, I think these are neat. Wait, no, we got two more. Meliodas, I forget where I put the Meliodas. He has like 15,000 damage, but his um, his other stats kind of lack. Uh, so I'm just gonna put him S tier. Um, I don't think he's as good as other S tier units, but he's a solid S. I mean, he's like a low S tier unit in my opinion. Uh, and Trunks, I forget. He's around the same as Gohan. I, I don't remember who is better, honestly. One of the one of the two. They're about the same stats. So I'm just gonna put them next to each other. All right, now the good stuff. The new units that actually are really good. They're all S plus tier, by the way. Um, I'll start with Luffy. Luffy's S plus. He, I think he's better than Escanor, although they're really close in in strength. Uh, the only reason why I think he's better than Luffy is because he can hit throughout the entire map. Now, why this is good? Um, it really depends on the situation, but. For like a wave 65 or 67 when there's like one enemy or a few enemies like explosives on 65 or that one enemy on 67. When those enemies are like s way stronger than the other, other other enemies that come out. Sending him to strongest throughout the entire map actually helps a lot like a ton. Now on waves like 66 where they all have the same amount of health it doesn't really matter. Uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about it's just basically waves that have a couple enemies that are actually stronger than the other enemies he's going to focus on them throughout the entire map so in my opinion he's better than Escanor although they have around the same damage output uh, if you think about it uh, I think Escanor actually has a little bit higher or not a little bit he has somewhat higher damage output because of uh, uh, he's hitting everybody in a group more easily than if you have to hit like some if you have to hit enemies throughout the entire map it takes a while for them to get grouped up so I think Escanor has a better damage output, but I still think Luffy is better just because on those specific waves, 65 and 67, you know, especially 67, you know, those are waves that like, that are a problem in the current meta. So I still think Luffy is better than Escanor. Although both players are not going to equip Luffy or Escanor. I think that's going to be that, that one extra slot that everybody has. What both players are, I think, are going to equip are both Kuma and Jiraiya, which are definitely the best units after Meta Knight for damage output. Like, okay, so they're very, very, very similar in strength. Like, they're so the the damage. I I calculated a few times, and the damage output is so similar that the, they're about the same strength. Although, in my opinion, I think Kuma is just a lot better. Not because he hits errors; that doesn't matter. But because his AOE is so much bigger that it doesn't matter if they mess if you like they're not in a group like if you're in the middle of grouping them up and if they're not or like one decelerates in front and he's the strongest because everybody's set the strongest he's still gonna hit everybody because of his huge AOE so in my opinion I think Kuma is probably the best unit after Meta Knight but you still got um, Jiraiya who's doing insanely good damage with a very large range so. If they get really close, the one who probably clutches it out, if it's not Meta Knight, is probably Jiraiya. But I think that wraps up everything. Like, honestly, I really hope they, like, add a 7-star Kaido. I know it'd be really hard to get, but... And I know it probably shouldn't be, like, more OP than the units above, like the S+. But it is so garbage right now that... It, it, it almost feels pointless just to get leaderboard for Kaido. It's it's very much a flex unit, but it's not even good. It's a garbage flex unit, so I don't think people even care if they don't have him. Also, for the Fire Rage Orb, definitely put on Meta Knight. And for the Cost Orb, uh, either Salesman or somebody who can defend, which I use I use Kuma to defend, so I put the Cost Orb on Kuma. But yeah, that's about it. See ya.